Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we'll be crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. And for your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For the first project, you'll need Dollar Tree frames, five by seven, and we're making a three piece wall decoration. Remove the backings. Pull the frames apart. Now we have two short sides, two long sides, so we need two frames in order to get two squares. We're making a small square and a large square. Just use your hot glue and glue them together. Now we have two squares, they actually fit into each other just like so. I'm going to be using this Aline's Metal Glue and I'm just going to place a small amount right in the corner. I'm also using this golf ball and it will be going on the opposite end. Just place your ball in the position so you can see where to place your glue. And I'm also adding some glue right in this corner so I can flip it and continue adding my glue. I'm also using a piece of skewer and this piece is 10 and a half inches. I'm going to be connecting it to this end and I'm using my hot glue and my strong adhesive. Just make sure that you're lining it up properly in that seam. And now remove your extra glue and clean the surface. Just use some alcohol to clean the surface. I'll be using canning lids from the Dollar Tree and that's going to be covering our hook on the wall. I'm using my ruler to measure how much of the skewer will be exposed and I just want to expose six inches. Now I'll take my piece outside and I'll spray paint it with my Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold. And I'll spray paint the front and the back. Here it is nice and dry. Now it's time to attach our mirrors and I have a 2 inch mirror that I'll be placing in my canning lid. Then I'll flip it over and connect my 5 inch mirror. And this is the Dollar Tree mirror and it fits perfectly in that smaller frame. Just use your hot glue and your strong adhesive 
This project is super simple and it's very easy. It's so easy, I made three of them. You can make as many as you'd like. To hook it on the wall, I'm using this piece of wire from my picture frame hook package and I'm just placing it behind that canning lid. And I'm just using my pliers to knot it. And here's how this project turned out guys, I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our second project. We have all these pieces left over from our balloon sticks project. If you did not make those, um, you're going to be needing about four packs of these balloon sticks. Just gonna cut these sticks into one and three quarter inches. Then I'll place the pieces together. And I'm also using a larger piece of my balloon stick. And this is the one that comes in the, I think it's eight pack or 10 pack. So it's a little bit larger or you can use a dowel. I'm also using a foam ball. You're going to be needing a two and a half to a three inch foam ball. Just place the first one in the center and just work your way around that one. And we're making like a globe shape. So just continue to add your pieces and make sure that they're curving. And I find it's best to use a hot glue gun on low temperature, pierce the foam and then place the pieces in. Just make sure that they're lining up going all the way around. When you get to the end, you may need to clip a small piece off because you have less foam working with. Just continue adding your pieces. I'm going to be removing these parts so I can add some glitter to cover up that foam. And I'm just using my tacky glue to apply my glitter. And I'll go ahead and place my tips back on right away. And then I'll take it outside and spray paint it with my Rust-Oleum Gold spray paint. Now I have these gems from Michaels. I'm going to be adding them in the center of, they look like little flowers. Let's call them flowers. We're adding them in the center. So I'm just using a dab of my metal glue and I'm adding one rhinestone in the center. Now let's work on our base. I'm using this wooden base from the Dollar Tree and I'm just painting it. Use any paint that you have. Paint is just like a primer because I'll be spray painting it and the spray paint will not look good on the raw wood. I'm going to be using my drill 
with a drill bit that's large enough to fit the balloon stick and I'll just drill a hole and then I'll take it outside and use my white rust-oleum glass paint and I'll spray paint the base. Then I'll use my strong adhesive and my hot glue and I'll just place it right in and make sure that it's nice and straight. And here's how this project turned out. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our third project. For this project, we are using these pineapple plates um, from the Dollar Tree. Um, we're using two of them. And I'm using a foam disc and I'm placing the foam disc right in the center of those plates. And I'm using my hot glue. Use your hot glue on low temperature so it can dry faster. Just make sure it's even, set it down on the base so the pineapple is standing upright. I'm using alcohol to clean my surface, then I'll be spray painting it with my Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold spray paint. While that's drying, I'm going to be using this silicone mold and I'm using a second hot glue gun just so I can get through this. And it's hot glue, so we're going to end up with some bubbles and small dents but using two hot glue at once will minimize the bubbles and i'm just taking my time and filling up that mold now it's dry and as you can see, we have some bubbles and little nicks, but it's all good. That's expected. It's hot glue. Now I'm just going to paint my pieces. Well, I painted my pieces, but what I want you to do here, if you're going to remake this project, is glue this directly onto the pineapple shape before you paint it. Just glue them on and spray paint the entire vase, okay? Because I made a mistake by not doing that. And you'll see what I mean. Now my pineapple vase is dry, I'm just going to be using my paint marker and I'm going through those lines with my paint marker and I'll be giving this two coats. I'm also using some rhinestones and I'll use my metal glue to place my rhinestones. Now I have another set of rhinestones and these ones are from Hobby Lobby. It's similar to the ones that I have from Michaels, so anyone will work. I'm just going around the top and then I'll fill it in. And I'm using my hot glue to add my rhinestone. And I did that for both sides. Now I'll be adding my design. And remember I said to add this piece before you spray paint your vase, okay? And to attach this to my vase, I'm using my strong adhesive. And to hold the pieces firmly in place, I'm using my electrical tape. And you just want to wrap it very tight. Just 
just like so. Okay, so remember to do this part before you spray paint it. And this is why you need to do that part first, okay? So I'll take it outside and I'll just cover where I don't want my spray paint to touch and I'll spray paint the sides. I think it looked better all gold anyway. To cover up those gaps in the sides, I'm just using my rhinestone chain and I'm going around um, both sides. Now we have both sides completed. Here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our fourth project. I'm using a poster board from the Dollar Tree and I'm just marking geometric shapes with my marker and then I'll use my scissors to cut them out. I'm also going to be cutting the pieces in half so they can fit on this um, pizza tray. I'm mixing school glue one part water to two parts glue. And then I'll just soak the pieces of my poster board in them for about 20-25 minutes. Now I have this old container that I'm going to be placing the pieces on. Now you can see how pliable the pieces are and that's the reason why I soak them for 20 minutes. I'm just placing them all over my container. Um, this project did not really turn out how I expected it to. I think I'll be remaking this one. But I just place the pieces all over. Now I'm cleaning the excess glue and I'll be placing it upside down to dry and I place it outside to dry and I check on it every 15 minutes for the first half an hour just to clean the excess glue. Now that it's all dry, I am painting it with my acrylic white paint. I had some of my poster board left over and I placed it on this Dollar Tree vase and I'm just doing the same thing, painting it with my white acrylic paint. I think I like the way this one turned out better because I didn't overlap them. So this is a low budget DIY right here. I got some sticks from outside and I'm just painting them gold. And that's how I'll be decorating this vase, guys. It's not bad looking, but it's not the vision I had, so... I'll be remaking that one, so look out for that one, all right? Please let me know which one was your favorite and if you'll be recreating any of them. All right, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your time watching. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave. It's really important. It will support and help my channel to grow. All right, thank you so much. If you missed last week's video, here it is on the screen. Click that rectangular box to watch. All right, thanks. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.